Welcome to part two, and uh, we left off uh, from the previous episode. We were just fitting the brass legs, uh, ready to lower in the motherboard and fit the motherboard. Here we go, part two. And don't overdo this, like start shredding off bits of brass from the little standoff legs. Okay. Inside this case, all the main points for the for the anchor post to mark with the letter A. <coughs> of course, after you've fitted your heat sink, there's the board with the with the heat sink fitted. Yeah. After you after you've fitted that, what you do is just lower it down like that and line up the board with all the little brass things. Make sure it's all in line. Okay, so there we go, there's our six, our six mounting holes are all lined up with the board. So the next thing is to screw the board in. So we go back to our little, our little package of screws here. Let's empty those out and just bring the camera around to focus on that. So that leaves the two small ones. Um, can you see the difference? One's got a, one's got a domed head and one, the back one, it's got like a head, can you see that, with a little lip. Okay, these are the ones we want with a little lip. Okay, so I'm going to screw in those screws now. Do it until it's finger tight. Okay, don't like grab it with your whole grip and, and um, over tighten it. What you can do, if you have a problem keeping your screws in place, get a little bit of blue tack. I mean a little tiny bit like that, that much, yeah, if you can see that. Yeah. Stick it on the tip of your screwdriver, push it over the, the threads, get the screw, push the screw into the thread, hey presto. See that? Stuck to the tip. And because the blue tack is really soft you can push right through it. Screw that down finger tight and you remove it, usually the blue tack sticks to the tip of the screwdriver. If it doesn't, well, just, you know, use some sharp implement just to peel it off the tip of the screw if it's still stuck to the tip of the screw. Now, one thing you can do is, if I, if I leave the board a bit loose, it's, it's supported, yeah, but if you see, there's a, it's hard to see, but there's a little bit of movement there to the whole board, yeah, can you see that? Okay, now, how many times have you <coughs> gone to put something into your computer and found that the, you know, you put the card in, it doesn't line up properly? It doesn't line up properly with the um, these the locating holes here, where you screw in the sound cards, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is, if we just take some old card, like say, here's an old firework card I've got sitting on the bench, right? There's a card in the slot. We can make sure it lines up all right there. Yeah. You see that all right? We can make sure it lines up all right there. Screw the board down now. We can um, we can move the board just a little bit so that we get the best line up for that card. Okay. I mean, hell, you don't have to do this. It hardly makes any difference, but it can do. So we screw that down. So now we can tighten them all down, right? So I'm tightening now all six screws. The card lines up, okay. And uh, I can now take out that old firewire card. Okay. Screw down those like that. Okay, so there we have it. Oh, let's see if you can see that alright. Okay, so here's our board in place. The cooler is attached with its power supply, and these are all the cables. This is our main power block that's supplying all the power, and the rest are all power supplies for the drives. Yeah, so these are your hard drive power connectors here. That's your hard drive power connector, floppy connector, etc. Yeah, so all we need is the RAM and the graphics card and we can check it's booting alright. 